Hi guys, and here welcome back to episode 7 of Minecraft Hardcore Survival. Today we're heading sort of with anyway into the mines to the zombie farm. We're going to sort it out, get it an XP farm, or to get mending on my silk touch pickaxe and get it repaired. It's looking a bit battered. But I chucked some basalt into this path here just to break it up, add a little bit of colour, and I am quite liking it. I might add even more into it as well. I think the basalt is a really nice texture for these roads. I think that might be a good pathway for the main area of the town going forward. But I have been doing a little bit of work down here, not a lot, just more digging and clearing out, finding more lava pits, that sort of thing. Found one more diamond. Yes, that's right, one more diamond. We're rocking the diamonds now. Here we are at the moment. So, just cleared it all out, put the, done the walls. I've not done the ceiling. Why haven't I done the ceiling? I have to do the ceiling. But there's going to be. The zombies will flush it this way, down to there, take them up, take them along one and drop them down. So they'll be coming down somewhere in that wall there, and then we can kill them. I could even half slab it down here, block this all off. If that goes nowhere, I don't think it goes nowhere, block this all off, and we can maybe put some glass in that wall there. But I think that's going to be the plan forward. There's nothing special about these farms, they're fairly standard anyway. So what I'm going to do is get that done, get that in place, and then we can have a look at decorating out here after we've done that. So let me crack on, I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, we have a basic killing chamber in here, hooked up, and then queue around this way, water filter down, that shoots up along the one, back down again, and it should be um, fairly straightforward. Yes, hopefully. What I'm just going to do now. Clear the pathway out of here. And then. We'll take these torches out. Put a water stream in across here. Still a torch left on there. That's one. There we go. Get back. And they should eventually make their way down to here. And then, so it's tied up this room. Pathway coming in. And uh, go and get mending on this thing. We can hopefully get this repaired up. Let's see if they drop. There we go. Not quite one hit kills. I can drop this another one if I want. Ooh, piece of iron. Very good. Right, I'm off back to the library. I'm going to grab mending. Put it on my pickaxe. Pickaxe. Mending. Boom. Right, we just need efficiency four on that to make it efficiency five. And that is good to go. Back to the mines. Okay, we have got one completed zombie farm down here. Decided to turn this this mine area down into the entrance to the farm. It's a nice straightforward little pond. I needed a water source down here, so I'll turn it into a little feature. You've got some glass there. And this far enough away, it's not going to affect the spawns of the farm anyway. And then you come around here. Loads of storage for when I need it. Some furnaces. Um, a grindstone. Stone cutter. Don't actually need that down there anymore, but I'll keep it here. Uh, Tops are going there, and then I can fill up all here. I'm keeping this zombie flesh because I'm half tempted to maybe rip out something like here and put like a little get a villager down here, a cleric. And then we can basically we can just sell zombie flesh to him. So just come down here. And they're not as one hit killers would like, but you know what? Don't really care. I get plenty of XP from it. I'm healing up my tool. Well my tools. A tool. My uh, silk touch pickaxe is healing up quite nicely. Uh, but yeah, that's doing there. I can sort of take some of the um, enchantments off some of these as well. So I've got some backup armor if I need it for anything particular, for like decoration and stuff. But yeah, that's not a bad little XP farm. Many for repairing tools more than anything now. Oh, hello. I keep getting these in as well. So I might have to put a little something here as a block. So I think when you do kill large amounts of zombies, they can actually summon. Zombie hordes, uh, maybe a little AFK chamber and it would be nice, so that's something possible to do. 
There's no more, is it? No. But let's uh, let me go tidy up. I think we can do some building out here and uh, maybe add another building to our little room up here. So give me a minute, I'll be back with you. I have got something sorted. Right, now I've got the zombie farm in place. I want to start looking at putting something over here. And I'm kind of thinking right here, clear out some of this land here. I have a water wheel connected to a building over here, which we could put something in it. I'm not quite sure what yet. So it's a bit underneath. Put something over here as well. Um, and I have got underneath. Well, somewhere underneath there, there's three villages. What were left over from when I uh, moved into the library, or the villages there, so we could potentially get them over there and get a little village breeder set up, get that up and running. It's probably not a bad idea, but I think first found this diamond down when I was doing the zombie farm. So, portion that, and we've got four nice and one there as well. I haven't got a axe. Or a shovel. So, why don't we make those? I think at some point I might have a go at trying to get some thing with Bobbit Netherite. It'd be quite nice to add that extra onto my tools. I'm breaking three, I'm breaking three. Let's go with you. A standard efficiency, and there we go. Neither of those are too bad at all. That's fine. Keep you in there, and I'll keep you in there, so I don't need you. Right, I want to get some materials together. I'm going to clear out a bit of that land, and we'll work out where this wheel's going to go, and the build to come around it. So give me a minute, I'll be back with you in a second. Right, I'm going to start out here with the wheel first, and it's going to come over onto the land, the, the main hole come out of the land to here. We'll do a build around here, and over to this way. Uh, the villager breeder is a design by Logical Geek Boy. Um, quite a simple and easy design, so I'm going to go with that. Uh, basically, I'm not a technical person. Let's go one, one more across. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. This will be the log of what comes out. Um, do I want to make this too thick? I'm not going to for the moment, but I may change my mind on that. Let's <laughs> see. So let's just bring this back into here. And then we will go one, two, three, four. And this side, again, do one, two, three, and four. And then one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to strip these. There we go, let's strip those there. I'll just start working on the bottom first. We'll put this there, put that like that. Put that like so. And then, are we going to stairs on me? I have stairs. There, there. And a stair there. And I'm just going to come back. And reverse it in like that. And I'm going to do the same all the way around. Right, that's in place. I'm just going to just pop a few trapdoors here as well. That looking like now. That's looking just fine. So, um, okay, that's right. I'm going to come in now and just pop to here. There's like so, just to fill these in. And then, bring back. Not stairs, fences. What am I talking about? I don't know, right? And we'll pop you back like that. What's that looking like? That's looking okay with me. I'm just underline here, you there, you there, and you there. We need some more fences for the top as well. Right. The wheels in place. I put the supporting beam going across to here. I think that's probably far enough to go. I may extend the wheel out again by putting another one, leave a gap, and then put another wheel, and then put some slabs or trapdoors in the middle to sort of separate it up. Uh, and I might also put a couple of supporting beams down here for this to potentially sit on and, and sort of as it would turn on them. I want to bring that path along around it and up over the top 
into the building over here. What I now need is a bottom, well, a building here. The bottom part is going to just hold the mechanics for the wheel, so to speak. And on the top, I'm going to start building the bridge breeder. I'm using one by Logical Geek Boy, if I've not already mentioned that. Uh, so basically, there'll be the farm over here, a pathway going along where the babies will come out, and then over here, the babies will then go to a position where they can grow up and become adults, and then there'll be a place where you can take the adults out of the farm. So I'm not exactly going to build the whole farm on camera because, in all fairness, Logical's got a tutorial for it. I will link that tutorial in the description down below so you can all know where uh, I've got the basic farm concept from. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just pluck out a frame for the bottom of this to include the farm on top. Right, so we've got the initial frame coming in. So the say the beam will come across to here. This will be the supporting beam going up into here, and then we'll have some sort of turning it mechanism. So that's what the wheel does in here. I'm just going to mix up this wall here with a little bit of stone. No, it's sure not stone. Uh, andesite and stone. So sort of filling some of this in randomly. Got mixed in wool. That'll be on the same on all four sides. Let me just quick get that done. <laughs> there we go, we've got that all in place. So still need some more detail, but we've got the initial frame up and running. And so right now above is going to be where the village breeder will actually sit. So for that, uh, I've got enough dirt on me. No. In theory, I'll have a ceiling here to get across to that on this floor, so I'm not basically looking at the dirt underneath. And then get the dirt in here. That will be the water bit in the middle. And then from here, I can do four one, two, three, four. So all the way around here, this will be where all the earth will go for the food supply so what I need to do then is take out these walls let me get this in place while I'm making that hash of it uh, you see I've got this trim now there so I'm going to take that then up uh, have I got any of it? I have we'll have a quick look at what I want to do up there and then I'll cut away get that done get some villagers in there then what I want to do is create a little log trim around the edge and I'll bring you all the way along like so. And this one's be one, two, three, four high. Now I better take it five to make it look similar to the one below. And then again we'll go one, two, three, four, five. Bring it all the way along like so. And then in the middle. I want to bring in some strip spruce logs, uh, strip oak logs, and then and what I could also then possibly do is then bring in some windows. I've got any normal oak. There we go. That's the normal oak I'll put in properly. We'll just strip that. I get some stairs for those two, put some windows in there, do it all the way around, and that will hopefully look pretty decent. Yeah, that's fine. Just break that up again. I need to do something around this border as well, just to sort of break that up. We'll decorate in there. I'll leave that open, but might put some curves and arches around that over there. And then once that is up in place, there will be coming out of the top bit there will be along where the baby villagers come along. And then there will be a section over here where the adult villagers will go. And what I might do is then maybe, oh, what I could then do maybe is put like an archway over here where the baby villagers are to walk back and forth. So that pathway can come up over there, archway through into there, and that can go around there. And a separate building over this side where the adult villagers go. So that pathway will come here. Go through that, through the archway, and I can also continue along that way. Oh, it's coming together, it's coming together. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more building off camera, get the, hopefully get the villagers in there. 
try and get a bit more of this the actual villager bead a bit working as well a bit more deco roof um yeah <laughs> don't know yet i'm thinking i'm thinking probably something similar to what we had i see over here with the house over there um i might actually bring in cedar strip spruce stripped dark oak as well along the top because i could potentially bring it over in three there'll be three sections based to the roof really there'll be where the breeder is there there'll be gap in the middle which i might not put a roof on i might just leave that flat uh with the archway as well in there and then over this side here uh, i might sort of match the roof up to that I think that might work right but i've got a lot of work to off camera now so i want to do a little bit of building and i'll bring you back once i've made some more progress okay here we go i've, got, I've put the frame up around the entire village breeder the top part is where the farm is baby's going there the lift up into there and that's where the adults will be collected with the minecart system out the back so the middle bit here is going to be like the bridge section between the two i'm going to do that out of uh, granite and brick just to sort of break it up this side i'll have a similar sort of block pallet to over here as well uh, but maybe with a large entrance on the top level just so the minecart can go in now easily roof roof line same shape roof but that's going to go away from the river that's going to go across the river just to break it up as well uh i think that'll be fine then obviously i'll take the pathway up over the wheel which i have doubled up now so there we go. we've got two wheels and i've got some um i've got some trapdoors in the middle just to sort of give it that like it's got spokes around it as well uh so i need to start getting some blocks in place i had to go out and get some clay to make the bricks up and whilst on my way out there's a swamp somewhere with that direction uh, I thought I'd go straight to that swamp, the villa's there. Totally missed the swamp, couldn't find it. Found a, a birch forest on the river, well on the ocean. And that had a load of clay, so I got some clay from there. But I also found two shipwrecks whilst I was out there. And those two shipwrecks, one of them anyway, had two pieces of bamboo in. Which is brilliant, so I've got them planted now. That's going to be a big, big help. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to have this as a... Let's go hold the villagers in in this top part of the building. So the band there might look like a story, something like that. Roof, I'm thinking of stripped dark oak logs across the middle. Probably with a stone trim, stone brick trim. Um I might as well get what dark oak planted, we'll see. Let's see if we get out of here. But the one thing I need to do now is I've got them on me. But what I now need to do is if I can get the two villages up into there, I've got a, a, a rail line laid down. We come down here. If one of you can get the minecart, that'd be great. Thank you very much. Right. Um, Okay, off we go. Let's see if he gets into the um village reader. He does excellent. If you could get into that. And there is number two in. Right, let me go to this tread track. Right, I'll just I took a load of cows everywhere as well because I'm just my hand. Right, oh, <laughs> already I've got the um, dirt that's been placed, I've hoed it, I've put, put the carrots down, I've chucked up my spare ones to the villagers. Now we're going to see the first baby pooing. We have, there we go. Excellent, so. There we go, the babies go, they're they, they trapped to the bed. And then they fall down there. They wait there when they grow up. They'll come up into here. That's all well and good. I'll to work my way down now because I now need to put, need to put something back in there. I need to put a roof on and building in there. So I'm going to click on and do some of that stuff. 
Uh, hopefully a few villagers will produce. You can stop the farm, you can put a block uh, in one of the gaps up there where that torch is. So I will stop that at some point anyway, so I don't want loads and loads of villagers. It's what, what I need at the time. So I'm going to crack on and get some more work done. I'll bring you back when hopefully we've made quite a bit more progress. So I shall see you shortly. Alright guys, we're back and well I've done quite a bit of building. It's not far off now. We're just getting around to the final decor the final bits of decor. But this is what we've got so far. Got the two different roofs on, that's all separated up. So there's a bit of work around the bottom and what have you. To finish this up, up into there and some more so decor around the outside. Some um maybe some like window boxes and that sort of thing. What pathway will come up here? Again, this all needs tidying up. It says we'll come up here and then go into there. There's no way up into there because, well, I don't really want axes up into there. This will come down here and then under there. Fill this in. Uh, it's okay at the moment. It's got no uh, windows, anything like that in it. They're only putting in. Likewise, there's no windows in here. I've got the top up there too as well. This is a bit straight. I need to sort out this as well. Tied this up again. Likewise, put some arches underneath this. This will tidy it up. Uh, and this will, I'm probably thinking I might just take this path straight back down to here. Or perhaps actually wind it instead, just wind it a bit more around to here. I think I might keep this as it is, maybe unmill it, put some more grass back on it and that sort of thing. Make a little bit of a, a green space around here. But this is going to come into here, I need to work out what I'm doing here. If this is going to be like, because it's sort of like on the river, and I do know that way it's near enough getting out to the ocean, so potentially, you know, boats coming from the ocean, they could unload here, water mill to go around, mill is milling some of the, the crops, and maybe this could be like a little storage area for the warehouse. So maybe that's a possibility. So maybe I need to open this up as well. Maybe have this as into like a little office. It's a possibility, but up here is where we have all of our villagers. So they are coming through from here. Uh, it's blocked off at the moment, so it is not technically running. They'll come here, babies will go in here, then they'll go up into that water stream and then come out into here. And then this, by pressing that, I'll dispense a minecart up into there, pick a villager up. And then it will go out over there. So what I might do is have some of the archway open there, ready for them going out. Maybe have something on this side open. I don't know yet. We will see. And then likewise, I want to maybe decorate it up in there a bit, put something on the floor, just to sort of tidy it all up. Uh, but yeah, I'm liking how this has all come out. Now it's coming along. It's definitely taking its time. <laughs> it's a bit. Some people have got this idea of doing massive builds in this series. And this pathway will continue this way, but again, if they open that all up, I will then sort of do all this landscape around here. And this pathway, I imagine, will just continue along the edge of this riverbank so far. Uh, and I'll do something just to tidy that up as well. Probably keep something along the same lines as we've got with our dock down there. Or, or what I might do instead of the wooden pillars, maybe go some like a stone pillar around here and have this more like a formal walkway around here rather than like a little jetty for a home that's a possibility anyway but it's not far off so it's just this final bit of detail now so i'm going to cut away again and crack on with that i thought i'd just give you an update as we're going along and hopefully the next time you come back it'll be done and we've got some village in place. I did have an issue when I was trying to actually when I was trying to work out the village breeder. Um, the adults weren't popping up into the the final section. So when I was trying to fix it, uh, we ended up releasing the villagers. What were in there? There's four. There's these three here, and there is one. I don't know if you can see it. Um, those torches there, hidden inside there in a the boat. There's another village as well. These three, your master. End up with my horse in here. Actually, they ended up in here, and the horse was uh, evicted, and it was wandering off somewhere over there. And so we stood up there. So I think we're going to need the stables. We're going to need to do something with you guys as well. But we're going to have to get a stables built, I think, around here. And uh, we'll see if there's more horses to go with our horsey friend there. But I'm going to crack on. I want to get this finished off. And then we can uh, 
have this build as done so i'll be back with you in a minute all right guys we're back and we are done it is complete finally finished this build and here we go this is it it's all done the decor's all in place i've extended this dock area this as like I said, took it to stone, get out of the way, sugar cane. On this side of it, took a little bit of mossy down there because it's in the water, it looks a bit more like it should be there. But to put a nice little area around here, I think I need a bridge. I did mention this, I think, very early on. A bridge at this side will be quite handy, so I think that will come into place at some point. I forget about putting into place and maybe extend this walkway around to some point where I could possibly uh, bring the bridge. I might take this as far as I can around here. Put it somewhere around here just to sort of close this area off and sort of close this gap off here but we can worry about that later some little street lights down here just give it some illumination and this is the little office where they can come and sort out their orders the four stacks of wheat in place a little bit more storage up here nothing much i've done in here this is a big opening for them to go out in so as of when I need to, I can just extend this line down and take them all off to where they need to go. Yeah, tied it up in here. Just put a nice floor in it. This gives me access to that block there. So I can add and move it as and when I need it. Could really do try to maybe automate that with a button. We'll worry about that later, but I haven't got any sticky pistons anyway. Got no slime yet. Let's go back down here. So this pathway goes all the way up and over here. Underneath here, put some little arches down here. Put an extra support all around the edges. Made these curves are arches. And then, not sure what to put under here. I put these stacks of wheat they've been holding in. Some like sawdust. Or wheat dust, should I say, not sawdust. And some wheat in the ground. Obviously some spare wheat must be stacked up. Maybe it's been stored, maybe it's drying out. I just tied up this front as well, down here. Just make that look a little neater. It's got like an extra support. Although that's technically touching it, it's like an extra support. Where that, that, if you imagine that's a curved beam. And we're sort of resting on that as it turns. And then up into here. Has a little door in here. A bit tight in here, but this is a big grindstone. Which as that turns, this will be grinding the wheat down into flour. There's not much else in there. And then... Although this is quite straight, I've sort of added the weed and more storage around the side here just to sort of take away from the straightness of the path. That goes back inside. And then this comes up back down here. And then as that, the wood turns into a normal path, which eventually starts turning back into a stone path for here. And that joins it all up. There's a little, bit, a little path down the side here as well. Not quite sure where this is going to go over here, but I've got this little path here, sort of like a walk around the side in the back of the building. Added a few more windows up there as well, just to give it a bit more light coming into there. But I'm quite happy with how to come out. I really enjoyed doing this. Put a little light on the lantern up there for the entrance coming out. Windows in the little centre bit there. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this build. And in fact, I've got a village breeder as well. We've got supply of villagers. So as we've done the trading hall, which where I'm at over here. I did the library and the librarian trading hall. I want to do some more of these little specific job trading centres. Like a farmer's market, um, a mason's guild, or something like that. Maybe get a couple in for like a, a blacksmith area where I can get some weapons and so forth off them. We could do like a, a furnace array there as well, stuff like that. So all that can come in the future. Nice little decor ceiling over there with the arches. I decided to keep the wood theme for the arches as well to sort of tie in with these two buildings as well. But yeah, this is it. I am very pleased with how this come out. That's another project ticked off the board. But I'm going to update my job board as well with what I've done so far as well. But guys, thank you much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing if you haven't done already. There's a link to Logic's Village Breeder in the description down below. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.